Okay, I have to not laugh. I have to get through this intro. No, I'm gonna have to not laugh. <laughs> hey, you guys, what's up? Julia! <laughs> Method acting, honestly. Honestly, though. Honestly, though. Honestly, though. Hey, you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and today I'm going to be getting ready for a fundraiser charity event for the company that I'm doing Carrie with. Funny enough, it's prom themed, so getting ready for prom is my friend Julia. Who is playing my daughter, Carrie? What's Yay! up? So, uh, oh my god, claps all around. <laughs> hey, I honestly no. already hate myself. I'm a really big fan. So. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, like I'm actually like a really I feel big so fan. cool, honestly. So Julia's part of the Theater Thursday fam. If you ever see her around the videos, say hi. So <laughs> subscribe to my channel, which has two videos on it. I love it. I love it. One of them's Eponine. I went back and watched it. Oh good. Made me happy. She mm -hmm. was a really good Eponine. If you ever saw my uh, Sweeney vlog video, I'll put that in the down bar below. She I was saw it. I loved it. <laughs> she was beggar woman and she was amazing. Thank you. We're gonna get ready for prom, so Let's do this. Okie doke. Do we just talk? Yeah. I feel like Jeffree Star. This is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, she's playing my mom. Don't we look alike? I mean, honestly. Fun fact also, as you guys know. Fun fact. Fun I, fact. Fun fact. Uh, if you guys remember my theater kid uh, first time tag, which I'll also link below if you want to check that out. When I was in ragtime opposite Daniel Stewart from Spring Awakening, she was little girl because they do look related. Yes, we do. So I look more like him than I do look like any of my family. Exfoliating with Step 2 Clinique. Oh. We just had a really long rehearsal. We just ran Act 2. So now we're getting ready for this fundraiser thing. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. There's gonna be like karaoke at a photo booth oh, and nice. pizza, which I'm honestly, excited. pizza at a photo booth, I'm there. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation in nice. the shade 805, which is the lightest one because I'm a sheet of paper. And then I'm gonna be using my beauty blender. This is the nude beauty blender, so don't worry, I'm not like disgusting. She's really it's gross, guys. Help. <laughs> Help. Help me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's supposed to be this color, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna be <laughs> applying that. Amazing. I'm going to uh, prime my skin with, I forgot it's what so this fancy. is. so fancy. I don't, I don't. I'm gonna prime my skin. I honestly forgot what brand this is because it's in a weird little container. So we just finished a run through of act two. It was honestly more a stumble through. We didn't even finish. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We like did the destruction scene, and then there's like there's a, the last scene after that when, spoiler, should I, I, everyone knows. I think. Oh yeah, I think okay. It's fine. Spoiler, oh, we kill each other. Oh, we didn't even do it, and then yeah. we didn't do, even do the epilogue either. They were just like, okay, so that was really good. I was like, okay. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I was actually Snapchatting a little bit of today's rehearsal. <laughs> it was really fun. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, I'm at Kath underscore Steel. So do that if you want like a behind the scenes look. So I finished my makeup and. It looks really good. I'm excited to go to prom. I've never been to prom. Did you not go to your senior prom? No, oh, I had Shrek! I missed prom because I was in a show. Um, Honestly though, like, theater life or no life. But it's just funny that it was Shrek, like, of all shows in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were gonna do Carousel, and I love Carousel. It's my favorite show. Yeah. But then we did Why Shrek, did they do that? so... Is it because they got the rights, or what? No, what happened was that they wanted to bring in more young people and they wanted it to oh, be yeah. like more appealing. Shrek is a lot more appealing than a wife beater who commits suicide. Oh, fun. I used to make beauty videos when I was like in seventh grade I love on it. my flip video camera, but I never <gasps> uploaded them anywhere. Oh my God. So there's just like videos of me in my bathroom no, I mean, the videos are on my computer, but the videos are of, of me they in my exist, bathroom. But they're in my bath. Yeah, exactly. Um, like all of and the I'm puppies. like, hey guys, it's me, Julia, and today I'm gonna be... And it's really, really, really embarrassing. I love it. So we keep doing this really stupid thing. Our friend Kylie, who's playing Norma in the show, which, if you know Carrie, is Chris's, like, right-hand man. She also says, got the booze! In Night Will Never Forget. It's so funny. But she doesn't say just got the booze she goes got the booze it's so funny i love her it's so great much. and we can stop saying it she's really funny i want to hang out she's so her. good she really is she has a great yeah. voice come see the show by the way i know honestly if you guys are in the los angeles area at the end of this month come see it julia's really really good <sighs> julia's a nickelodeon star you shut up <laughs> Ooh, catch me as a uh, gracie crenshaw nickelodeon's uh bell and the bulldogs but... this will be just great I don't even know if this yeah. is blended. Do you guys think it's blended? I take this 
NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and then I have this mini beauty blender, but <laughs> like the other one I said, is a nude color. This one's actually supposed to be bright green, but I'm I just I'm gross. I don't Disgusting. clean it regularly. Disgusting. So. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get to blending. I'm using like a combo. I like to do my eyeshadow first, as you guys know. I'm doing the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Naked 2, and uh, Lorac Unzipped Original as like, I'm just grabbing a couple shadows from each of there. I'm gonna do probably like a neutral brown smoky eye. Do we know who all is going to the uh, thing tonight? I know that the girl who plays Chris is, she's really cool. Uh, your Tommy is going. Yeah, we're going, we're, I mean he didn't like formally ask me because it's not like obviously like a formal prom but mm. and she's going... my date anyway so yeah that's true but like we're going like together where you take prom pictures and stuff so are you gonna like kill him tonight then uh, yeah spoiler i'm actually gonna kill everybody tonight yeah yeah it's gonna be uncomfortable right. it's gonna be a night we'll never forget <laughs> Oh my god, no, oh, never. Oh, wow. Oh my god. We'll never forget. Oh, but when we were running, night will never forget, same, yeah. same number. The characters, Billy and Chris, have this part where they're, like, getting ready to, like, rig the blood bucket, and they're, like, singing this whole thing about, like, old men hen... Henty? Henry? Henty. Honestly, I don't even know. Old man Henty had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And, <laughs> oh, and like, really as funny. you can already, as you can already tell, it's gonna get really watch you in a second and like they keep singing and then they start going oh 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 but like in a different context it's supposed to sound like sexy time yeah so and i'm off and i'm like on the side because i come on next after they sing that and i sing like a little thing and i'm about to come on and i had never seen them do this like part of the song full out and they just start violently making out and I just come on and I'm like, I never dreamed that I could go. And I was I laughing that. so hard. Then under my eyes, I take this LA Girl Pro Conceal. So as you guys may or may not know, Lame is like, if if I have to pick one show of all time that's my favorite show, I would say Lame is. The first time I ever saw Lame is, Julia Lester was young Cosette. I was young Cosette, and then my two older sisters were also in the show, and my oldest sister was Madame Thenardier, so that was pretty fun. And then, six years later, with the same company, we did Les Mis again, and then I was Eponine, so that was really fun. Next, I'm taking Rimmel's Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in, um, the lightest shade. As Julia mentioned, she has older sisters, and one of her older sisters is a year younger than me, yeah. and we were really good friends in, like, middle school, mm -hmm. and the first time, Julia's basically, her entire family, they're all actors, her mom was in Spring Awakening, she was the adult woman, and the first time that Julia's older sister went to go see Spring Awakening, we went together. Really? And yeah, I don't know this yeah, story. Lily I'm... and I saw Spring Awakening with your mom. Yeah. She like, took off her shirt. When she took off her shirt, her sister audibly went, Mom. And it was the funniest thing that's ever happened. I don't think anyone heard around us. And it was like, it was like a, a small 99 seat theater, and like half the cast of Pretty Little Liars was there because the girl who plays Mona was Venla that night. <laughs> it was my favorite. That's great. It's so funny. I'm taking, oh, NARS Laguna Bronzer and this crappy elf brush that was like a dollar. I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay, that's me like 90% of the time. I wish my hair was this color in real life. It's not this color. It's not that red, but it's still pretty red. Would you ever dye it? Um, I did dye it like last year. Like I just dyed it like like redder than mm -hmm. it was. Get wrecked, mate. All right. Oh anyway, my gosh, she wouldn't stop saying, saying get wrecked. That's my favorite saying. I'm taking this Mac blush, Pro Longwear, in the shade Rosy Outlook, and it's just it's just a nice like rosy color. Oh my gosh, well, oh my is it gonna focus? I don't know how to work cameras. Look at it's that. It's okay. Whatever. It's I'm pink. sure it did. It's at some pink. Point. You get it. Yeah. Also, I can't even see it. Forgive the lighting, since this is obviously like a long, chatty video. If you've made it this far, congrats. A. Eh? Congrats. Congrats. Uh, part B. Sorry if the lighting is off. We are on the floor next to my bed. I don't know how to do a makeup setup for two people. Sorry. I'm using Naked Skin by Urban Decay in shade one. I'm <laughs> highlighting with this Sephora Fresh Face Luminizing Powder, Poudre Illuminatrice. That's the other language written on there. Illuminati confirmed. Are you excited to like not wear makeup for the show? 
Not really, because I got some pimples that need some hiding, but I know, it's fine. I'm so stressed out if, like, my skin doesn't look good. Or also, we're going to be super stressed and not sleeping, so our dark That's circles true. are going to look so bad. I mean, like, are we not wearing makeup at all? I mean, we're still going to be on the stage, so, like, don't we need to wear, like, some? That's what I'm thinking, but also, Mark doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> For act one, I was just going to do, like, my regular like foundation mm -hmm. and like like fill in my eyebrows just like a little bit because like you would not be able to see them from on stage right. because they're non-existent and then for act two I was gonna like because I'm like getting ready for the prom I'm just gonna put on like some light eyeshadow little mascara and a little lip you should do like a full face done but obviously not to the degree that you do your makeup because you're skilled and Carrie isn't but do everything except lipstick and then do lipstick when you're actually on stage because that'll be like a big change to your face yeah no no, no that's what yeah. I do in in why not me yeah I, yeah, I yeah you're right you're right I'm just gonna be using the naked palette from Urban Decay this is just the first one <laughs> really nice eyeshadows. I'm gonna conceal with my Maybelline Fit Me in 15. I mean we opened it like two weeks so like, So yeah honestly. Oops. I know isn't that a scary thought? I had all yeah. of these videos planned and then I realized that we open in two weeks. Yeah. I keep forgetting to tell like people I know in real life to see the show. <laughs> I look like an egg right now. <laughs> I just saw my face in the movie. You don't at, I was like, at all. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Setting this also with an old Rimmel stay bat powder so look at that look how pan that is it's all pan i love it and like i just opened this right before i said it on camera like i still have the packaging because the one i have at home i'm totally cracked and like i oh, mashed it to make it like yeah! a fine powder and it's literally everywhere so i was just like you know what i'll bring the new one i'm sure you look beautiful thanks mom get raped mom <laughs> will you still do my brows Mm -hmm. Like, can you give them a shape? Like, you have such a nice shape. Yeah, I can totally do that. And thank you, that's so nice. You're welcome. Honestly, this is eyebrow queen right here. Our choreographer came over the other day and I taught her how to do her eyebrows, but then I also ended up plucking her eyebrows and that's like a serious level of trust and friendship. Oh, I'm taking dark horse and putting that on my outer corner. I'm gonna use the Sephora eyebrow pencil and the Anastasia brow definer. That's like the bigger one. Hang on, I'm just gonna scooch forward. There's a big mirror right behind you guys. I'm just gonna... Hang on. This is exciting. Hi friends, I'm right here, but you can't <laughs> see me, can you? Probably, I don't it's know. It's on the side of your hair. Oh, that's exciting. Actually, you know that Stephen King might come see the show. I thought he was dead. <laughs> How old is he? I don't know, but not dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, our conductor of the orchestra is like good friends with him. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so. That's pretty cool. He might come to opening. That's a really Come cool. to opening? Yeah. I know, which I like hate, because like. Because like, we might be bad Stephen opening. King. Oh my god, what if Stephen King saw the show and was like, you guys are terrible. Uh, a dancer dances. Honestly, though. <laughs> <laughs> she got me in the back. She got me. I'm sorry. We were blocking the destruction, mm -hmm. which is when I kill everybody. They're supposed to be like moaning and groaning and like crying on the floor <laughs> I, or I heard about this though. And everyone is screaming out SpongeBob memes. Like, my leg! No more SpongeBob memes, please. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a really good look for me. Gonna line my eyes with Kat Von D tattoo liner. The cast doesn't know this yet. The producer of the show. He's an actual magician and he works at Magic Castle. I didn't and know so that. So he's gonna be like rigging some of the stuff and teaching me how to do like magic. No way. So during Why Not Me, when I put on my lipstick, the lipstick's actually gonna float into my hand and then I'm gonna. <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah. That is so cool. Actually, you know more about the destruction than I do, and a couple of uh, the Theater Thursday fam wanted to like hear about the destruction. Do you wanna talk about the destruction a little? Like in what way? Like what uh, Just do? like some of the stuff that we're doing, yeah. I saw, cause I saw it for the first time today. I'm still doing my eyeliner over here. I saw it for the first time today. I saw people climbing up walls and that uh -huh. was cool. We've got, um, we're doing the same off-Broadway set with like the two ladders. So we have people on the ladder and hanging off the ladders. What else are we doing? Um, I blind a few people, I electrocute some people, one of them is on either side of the stage and like when they all become scared that they finally realize that like I'm deadly, they run and kind of like grab onto like the pipes and like the light, I break the pipes and electrocute them so there's gonna be like cool special effects kind of happening where like the lights will come down and like that's awesome electrocute them uh, is he chris flying is that happening because i heard that was yes happening. and then that's chris awesome. is flying and i fly her well i mean i don't fly her but like it supposed to look like i'm lifting her by choking her and then i 
snap her neck. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Why don't you talk a little bit about your, uh, your process of finding Carrie and who she is? Like, were you ever bullied? Like, do you relate with Carrie? Not like, <laughs> tell me about your deepest, dariest moment. Yeah, well, my mother but. is abusive and I have telekinesis, so like, it's not really that hard. <laughs> On some levels, I relate to Carrie, but for a lot of it, it's been pretty pretty tough finding that part of me because like like anybody I went through that awkward middle school phase you just have to kind of act super vulnerable the whole time mm -hmm. just let myself be a target do you see the difference in my brows I'm still blending now you're looking like my daughter it's true because we got them eyebrows on me <laughs> is it fun having a whole family of performers yeah I do a lot of like um, TV and film as well so my dad he mainly does TV and film but he's done some some theater as well but I guess you could say he's my acting coach I don't know but it's really nice to have him there and my mom you know helps me with my because she's more theater um, with more of that kind of performer so she helps me with like my audition songs like she helped me with my carry audition which was really good thank you we were in the same call and I heard her do her audition and I was like oh she's booking like right off of that <laughs> Thank you. It That's was really so nice. good. She did the last like 16 of Carrie, which is really hard. Just Fuck make up. it softer, do like a little yeah. bit of foundation over the Oh top. yeah, thank you. Oh my god. Of course. Yeah, they look so good. Honestly, Love doing eyeliner. Never been I more on fleek in my life. We'll check in back with you in just a sec for the finished look. <laughs> okay, Dad, this is us prom posing. Wait, wait, prom pose. And this is the finished look, you guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. I put out new theater-related videos every Theater Thursday, plus bonus uploads like this one. If you want to follow Julia, she is Julia Rose Lester yeah, on, Instagram. on Instagram. I'm at Kath underscore Steel on pretty much every social media platform. We're going to head out, so yeah. thank you guys so much. Bye! Bye. Have you seen the, the Miranda version? No. Marie, the baguettes! Hurry!